Hey, brothers and sisters, the Lord is actively gathering his sheep in the world. He is the great shepherd, John 10. The Lord came to seek and save those who were lost. He went first to the lost sheep of the nation of Israel. Prophesied in Ezekiel 34 is a promise to Israel that he will regather them and restore them to their own land from worldwide dispersion. Once they are regathered in Messiah's kingdom, they will no longer want. Listen to portions of Ezekiel 34. For thus says the Lord God, Indeed, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock on the day he is among his scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep and deliver them from all the places where they were scattered on a cloudy and dark day. And I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries, and I will bring them to their own land. I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, in the valleys, and in all the inhabited places of the country. Ezekiel 34, 11 through 13. Verses 23 and 24 says, I will establish one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them. My servant David, he shall feed them and be their shepherd, and I, the Lord, will be their God. And my servant David, a prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. And lastly, verses 30 through 31 says, Thus they shall know that I, the Lord their God, am with them. And they, the house of Israel, are my people, says the Lord God. You are my flock, the flock of my pasture. You are men, and I am your God, says the Lord God. We often hear politicians boasting of great promises to the people. However, when the Lord makes a promise, he sees to it that it is accomplished through his divine power. Notice that the Lord will deliver his sheep on a cloudy and dark day. The Great Tribulation is known as a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like the morning clouds spread over the mountains, a people come great and strong, the like of whom has never been, nor will there ever be any such after them, even for many successive generations. Joel 2 verse 2. The Lord made promises to Israel to give them their land. Ezekiel 11 verse 17, therefore say, Thus says the Lord God, I will gather you from the peoples, assemble you from the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. Ezekiel 36 verse 24, For I will take you from among the nations, gather you out of all countries, and bring you into your own land. In Ezekiel's time, the Lord brought his people back from Babylon, but this is also a prediction of a final return of Israel to their own land and restoration in the millennial kingdom of Christ. Arnold Fruchtenbaum says, quote, The first regathering is the one in unbelief prior to the Great Tribulation in preparation for judgment. The regathering described in Isaiah 11 verse 11 is the second one, in faith and in preparation for the millennial blessings. Currently, we are moving closer and closer to the ultimate fulfillment of these prophecies in Ezekiel 34. But before that happens, next up is the rapture of the church and the day of the Lord, followed by Christ setting up his kingdom on the earth. Maranatha.